Why you don't try to make Metroidvania game? Do Metroidvania please. Or maybe you can't do that? I guess I have no choice but to turn my platform game series into Metroidvania game. So, let's get started. First, let's jump to Photoshop and make improvements to our previous sprites, in order to fit to Metroidvania theme. Here, I already draw a new character called Maria, and she will be the main protagonist of our game. For those who don't know, Metroidvania is a subgenre of action-adventure video games. Metroidvania games generally feature a large interconnected world map the player can explore, though access to parts of the world is often limited by doors or other obstacles that can only be passed once the player has acquired special items, tools, weapons or abilities within the game. Acquiring such improvements can also aid the player in defeating more difficult enemies and locating shortcuts and secret areas, and often includes retracing one's steps across the map. The term, Metroidvania, is most often used to refer to a platforming game that features a single large, interconnected map, generally with discrete rooms or sections. Not all areas of this map are available at the start, often requiring the player to obtain an item such as a weapon or key, or a new character ability to remove some obstacle blocking the path forward. Often, this item is protected by a boss character, providing story-driven challenges throughout the game. Maps are non-linear, and often require the player to traverse the map multiple times during the course of the game. Weaker monsters will inhabit other parts of the level, respawning when the player revisits those rooms, and often can be defeated to gain health, ammunition, or experience points. The popularity of the Metroidvania genre is stated to be tied to the ease with which platformer games can be learned and mastered, while giving the player a character that they can grow over the course of the game. Many developers of independent Metroidvania titles cited the exploration as a core element of the genre that draws in players, working off the natural human instincts to explore, and giving the players the sense of discovery and self-control during the game. I love most Castlevania series games, and that's why I'm Choice's gothic style theme for this game. As you see, a lot of drawing process already made. According to the plot, the main character Maria is in the huge castle filled with monsters and creatures to put an end to the rule of evil. And as a tradition, something goes wrong. Maria loses all her abilities and skills, up to the weapon usage. So, during the game, players have to restore all these abilities in order to fight with evil. And this is the main idea of the game. As you see, I'm already created some new cool-looking ground blocks. Let me finish this and then I'll show you some cool looking in-game animations. I also created a nice attack animation for Maria. As a fan of the Castlevania series, I thought it would be really cool if the whip was the main weapon. And I done that. Time to get back to Unity and create some basic level. Luckily, Unity has a cool tilemap component that turns the level design process to instant joy. Let's run our game and see what is done. In this phase I already made character movement, and add some new abilities such as jumps, attack, clings to the edges of platforms, and dashing. Is that enough? Of course not. Thinking a little, I was blessed by a great thought. What if we add the ability to turn Mary into a cat? As a cat, Mary could visit places of the castle that are not accessible to human form. This is so cool, that I decided to immediately implement it in the game. I started to build the cat as a new character with his own character controller. It was fun, because I already made that code previously, and now I simply copying and optimizing it to a new purposes. The most difficult part here, was to create a hero manager script that would track the position of both heroes, and change them, if necessary, with a simple button press. Then I created some cool animations for Cat, including running and jumping animations and successfully implement them to Unity Project. I still haven't decided on a name yet, so if you have some suggestions I'm totally open for them.
Of course, not everything worked at the first attempt, and at some point I even had to take a few coffee breaks. But, by the end of the day, everything looks as expected. So let's summarize our progress. For now, we have a completely ready-made character Maria, who has up to four new abilities. She can use a whip, cling to the edges of the platform, dash, and even turn into a cat. And that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, you know, just smash the like button. And don't forget to leave a comment if you have some ideas or suggestions about that. See ya in the next episode. Bye.